Hi, Christine. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good. Wonderful. Thanks for taking this time to interview. So, Christine, can you share a bit about your background and your career, first of all? Yes. I've been a massage therapist for 30 years. I met Ming Wu nine years ago. And so the practice changed a little bit. It was into Swedish massage, deep tissue massage, sports massage. I loved it. I did very good. And then when I met Ming, I learned all new things that I could do. The Twina, that's like the big portion of my business is the Twina. Yes. And yeah, so you were already in the holistic field before meeting Dr. Wu. Yeah, that's true. That's wonderful. And um, so how did you actually meet Dr. Wu? So uh, a friend took me to him. He had helped her with a serious health condition Mm. and said, you need to try him. And she told me how much money it was. And I said, I'm not going. And she said, yes, you are. And you're going to love him. (laughs) And I did. And it, it was so worth it. And that was the uh, varicose veins. Okay. I him with the problem. I she said you had to pick a problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. And and I said varicose veins. I told them I've had them for years. They've stripped them. They keep mm-hmm. injecting me with a saline solution, which hurts. They keep coming back. They stick out. They're ugly. They I'm tired because of it. And oh, he wow. said, what? and I went to myself, oh no, this <laughs> is gonna hurt. And so he did the gua sha. For an hour and it hurt for a few minutes and then it got better then it was like numb the endorphins are kicking in and they looked better and I felt better mm-hmm. and he said you do every day for 30 days for one hour and they will be gone and I thought I don't know about that but yeah. I'm gonna try <laughs> right and I did and they were gone That's incredible. Can you share a bit about what gua sha is, first of all? Yes. I'm thinking, do I have a tool here? I probably demo. That would be even better. (laughs) Yes. Let me let me grab a uh, one of my tools. So he sells some really nice tools that I have at my office. I don't have here at home. It's okay. But this is one of his teacups. Okay. This is a wonderful thing. You can use the side of a spoon. You can use. what else I'm thinking? Uh, the, I learned on a with a uh, what's a, um, a Snapple bottle top. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, that's the, what I learned on. Or um, uh, a quarter. They say I don't like the quarter too much. The quarter I think hurts a little bit. But anything, anything with something yeah, like that with an edge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little oil. You okay. can use olive oil, coconut oil, organic if you have it. Massage oil. Cream doesn't work. You can do it without, but more careful. So I can show you on the arm. So what I learned is the, um, if I get stuffed up and you can't breathe or you have a headache. So the meridians are on the arm that come up here for all the head, nose, throat. So I put the oil on and then you go like from here down. Got it. It feels good. And this will open up everything in the head. So the gua sha is one of my favorite things. If I'm sick, the first thing yeah. I'll do is my neck and then down Thanks. to the arm here. It goes out and you can do it for beauty to get rid of yeah. wrinkles as a whole. Yeah. And I know some women that do that already. <laughs> yeah, It works. Yeah. Cupping, ba- cupping for the face or the gua sha is very good. Oh, I, my face looks really good except for one wrinkle I'm working on here. Oh, wow. So Christine, when you're, when you're doing the gua sha on the different meridian lines, I mean, do you have to know where the meridian lines in order to do gua sha? Nope. You don't have to know much. The main thing you need to know is a little oil and to, for the arms and legs go away from the heart and you you really cannot screw anything up. It'll get red and it'll hurt a little bit and it'll itch and that's okay. Gua means scrape. Sha means red. So if you get the red coming up, that's a good thing. You continue. And you're supposed to do it a long time. But even if you do a short time, it'll help. If you get that red up, then you're something's happening. So if the is the red blood or what what is it that's happening underneath? 
stagnant blood. It lifts. Oh, wow. Stagnant blood. So you'll get some, uh, on the varicose veins, or you get some marks. And on the back, there's a video Ming has that I uh, videoed once on Gua Sha. It was yeah. like for an hour, one of his other students, Randy and I, and he did the back for an hour. And it was oh, yeah. blood red. Oh, wow. And the first sign of sickness, the first sign of you don't feel good, you gua sha. So that's why I do myself a little. But if you have somebody to put oil on your back and do the back, you start at the top and go down and kind of fan out. You really can't screw up too much with the back, but you do like long, deep strokes. And as long as you're working on that red and it feels good, you can do the whole body. I've done the whole body. But the varicose veins were on my legs. So I did that every day. And as it's pulling the stagnant blood out, it looks black and blue. People would be, whoa, what's right. wrong yeah, with your Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you about that. So don't be frightened if it's dark and black and blue because that's toxins coming out? Or Yes. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Yes. And there's, if you go on YouTube, you can look it up and you'll see pictures and pictures and pictures of the marks. And on my uh, Facebook page, I have pictures of the marks too. Oh, wow. So people have an idea. I'll say to them, now, if you have some marks, is that okay? And you need to explain, I'll take a picture and show them. I'll say, does this hurt? Does this hurt? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm going to take a picture. I show them and they go, oh, oh my God. <laughs> so, th so they know, and then they can tell their husband or their wife, you know, this is just Gua Sha. She did not right. hurt me. Yeah. No <laughs> I one feels so up. much better. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Christine, can you share a bit more of that process when you did the gua sha on your varicose veins? Like you said to scrape away from the heart, why away from the heart? How long do you do it? And kind of share what is happening when you're on the varicose vein scraping and for how long? Okay. So Ming always seems to say an hour, but if you can do anything, I think it's good. So I would do 30 minutes on each leg. Both legs on the lower legs, I had like big tube veins, big tubes veins sticking yeah. out. It was kind of ugly. Yeah. And it was uncomfortable, but it was more ugly to me. And I had tried to heal it so many times. So just, just scraping. So if this was your knee and this is your ankle, I go from the top to the bottom. And you're telling, I believe you're telling the body where to remind it, get rid of it. And you're pushing it out the toes, right over the bones, just right over. You're t saying, leave the body and you do it for an hour and it's pulling the stagnant blood out. And I do it. I do it all around. I do the vein, but I do all around. And then while you're doing that, you're doing all the meridians. You don't have to know them. So there's six on the legs, six on the arm. So whatever you're doing, wherever you're working your body, there's points and there's meridians. Right. So it sounds like, so you're still... While you're doing the gua sha, you're restoring, rejuvenating your body at the same time. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. And when you're doing the gua sha, Christine, you know how on the varicose veins is really puffy and it's ugly and it's all, you know, crumbled up. Are you? There's no injury done to it when you're scraping on top of that. No. So when. Ming did it to me for the first time. I promised myself Western medicine had failed me. I was a sickly kid. I had a lot of things happen, a lot of bad stories. So I just said, I'm going to trust this man. I trust my friend. I'm going to trust this man. He does gua sha. He's going pretty hard in the opposite direction, pretty deep. Yeah. And in my mind, I remember a teacher saying, if you touch the vein in the wrong direction, in the wrong pressure, you can give them a blood clot and kill them. So I I'm laying on the that. table saying, I would trust him, but I don't want to die. So I lift up my head and said, I'm not going to get a blood clot, right? And he stops, he comes up and he says, you're all so brainwashed. And then he comes back and he continues on oh my God. the wash on the leg. That's wow. right. I fell in love with him as a teacher, family, friend. I've been with him nonstop for, and all his students for nine years because there was like a light bulb that went off. Like, you're going to follow this man. He is going to teach you. Take a picture of this moment. And and I knew he knew a lot of stuff that is backwards to what we believe. Oh, I, I so want to talk about this because I heard the exact same thing, Christine, is that from massage therapists, if you do too much, it was going to cause that blood clot that you're talking about. 
So the fact that Dr. Wu said you've all been brainwashed and wonder like how much more are we brainwashed, right? So I would love to hear more about what else you've learned in your practice of TCM because you're also a TCM practitioner today, right? Yes. And can you kind of share, I'm curious to know, what is like a common de a common denominator that you see amongst your patients and your experiences of how people see TCM? Like, are they frightened or what's a similar common denominator that you see? When he did that first treatment on me and he did a little tweet on and I kept asking questions because I want to learn, what are you doing? Yeah. And, you know, he was doing something very different, closer to the spine, the tweet on. So I left and I went to work and he, what I always do, they all, all my clients know anything she learns, she's going to do. So I started doing it and whatever the problem was, headaches, pain, uh, some neuropathy and big, pro big problems, not just the little stuff I was taking care of. They, it would be gone, not for a day or a week or a month, sometimes for good. And I got to be careful with some of the stuff I say, but it is mind blowing the these things and just copying him and doing to my patients, they would get better. And then people say, well, they leave. Well, then they send their brothers, their sisters, their cousins, their mothers, their best friends, their coworkers. So people just keep coming and you make them feel better. You teach them what to do, how to eat, go out in the sun, relax, do Tai Chi, Qigong. It's a lifestyle. So that's what I teach now. So he taught me, I just would ask the questions. I took the class, then I would text him and I'd ask, what do you do for this point and that point? And then I would do it. And he was very patient. And I did that for years. Right. <laughs> and it's amazing. It's Twina is my favorite. All these things are wonderful. Like moxa right now is the time of the year to do moxa, the big moxa. If you don't want to be sick in the winter. Right. Today, today's one of the days. Right. And it's, it's just mind blowing to me. Even today, I do it every day and it's just so wonderful. It's so wonderful for the people that want to listen. There's many that are like, okay, whatever, you know, the, uh, some people are afraid. Some people are, uh, I think the way I try to approach it is to give people hope. Like, yes, you're told this, but just for a minute, think about this and just do a couple things. It's overwhelming if I tell you a hundred things, but let me tell you one, two, three, four, five things that you want to change and see how you feel. And then they'll come back a week later, a month later, whatever. And oh my gosh, I look at me. I feel good. I'm yeah. not in pain. So, so it, yeah, it's good. Yeah. So would you say the common denominator is that they've been successful? Yes. I mean, it, it's, it, it's all worked right? All the treatments that the different patients have received is the fact that it's working. It's helping people, even though they may be a little doubtful in the beginning. So common denominators, it, it works. It works. It's yeah. very, very successful. That's, so my business yeah. has gone from, uh, when I met him, I worked for chiropractors. Oh, you now did? I'm on my own. Yep. I'm on my own and business is booming. And when I left the last chiropractor, how business goes is he, I say, I'm leaving. He said, today's your last day. So there was no internet and Facebook and all that, or I wasn't on it. I don't know if it was there or not, but, but I, so I had to start from scratch and I did. And I was with Ming and I was working on the people. So I got a whole new clientele and I just did this wonderful practice on people and I'm so busy now. I'm I was booking out six months, but then I have no life. So now I'm just oh, booking wow. out. That's a that's awesome. Six months out. That's incredible. So you see a demand in all of this. Yeah. My door is being is I got a waiting list. It's they're begging it. They're some are crying, you know. Yeah. No. For the lockdown. Yes. Yes. And in this area, people want to be they're getting healthier. The people's minds are opening. Before they were a little more closed a few years ago, COVID people think things got worse. In some aspects, they got better. They're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And if, I'll try your silly Qigong or your Twina or going barefoot outside or drinking water or meditating and they're seeing results. Yeah, that makes total sense. So 
you sense that people are getting to a point where they're somewhat desperate because they're trying all these different options in Western medicine and it's happening for years on medication, nothing's working. So now in some ways they're, they're pushed to look for other alternatives. And that's why I think you're in such great demand is you're in Massachusetts. Yes. Okay. Uh, Palmer. Okay. So there's not many Eastern West, Eastern Dallas Chinese medicine doctors or anything there that, oh, right. Yeah. I send them yeah. off. To me. <laughs> yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. Someone else had mentioned that to me. I was going to interview her another week and she said, Judy, there's nothing around here. You know, like we're, we want this, but there's nothing around that's available for Dallas Chinese medicine. And I was like, that's, yeah, that's really quite interesting. I think in California, there's a little more, it's a, you know, a little more liberal and, <laughs> you know, there's definitely a lot more options out here for sure. Um, can you share a bit about your patient experience with Dr. Wu? Sure. Uh, me as his patient? Yes. And then we're going to talk about you as a student and learning from him. Okay. So as a patient. Yes. So that's how it started. He did the the um, uh, varicose veins helped me get rid of them. And then I, I was sold completely. Just, yeah. And, yes. So then then it would it went further to me helping my patients, but also helping me. So I was what was so good with him is I was uh, tired as a kid. I had like a, a low sugar problem. I was sick. They could never figure out what was wrong with me. I was tired. Mm. That's why to the healing practice myself doing massage. Why do people go get into the healing field because they want to heal themselves. And so I did, and I, and I felt better and things were good and uh, learned so much and having so much fun and healing others. But when I met Ming, he would teach, you know, get rid of monkey mind. What is monkey mind? You know, that overthinker, oh, I'm an overthinker. So let's talk about that. Qigong, Tai Chi. And he also said, you know, if you want to do this Twina, you have to do Qigong. And my thought was, that's boring. That's slow. That's <laughs> rolling. I don't want to do that. And he said, yeah. you, you, you must, if you want to have good chi. You have, if you're going to be a practitioner, you have to be, you should be healthy and have good chi. You need to build the chi. And I used to, when I would give massages, I'd be tired. If somebody oh, was wow. really sick, they'd feel better. But then I'd be sick up to a week. I remember being out of work for like a week after healing someone, then I'm sick. That doesn't happen anymore. I can have the sickest person. They can feel completely better. And because of the Qigong and Tai Chi and all the things I do, it doesn't bother me at all. That is one of the amazing things. I'd be done. I was almost done with massage when I met him nine years ago. I was almost going to wash my hands of it because I, I was just too, too much for That's after doing it for so many years. Yes. Yeah. And now I'm a powerhouse. I'm like, un unbelievable people are, you are so strong. You want me to ease up? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, wow. No, that's really incredible. I think you hit on a really important point. You know, it's like this golden nugget. He talks about building your chi, your life force, because it makes sense. If you're working on all these people, you're constantly giving the energy to the other person and you're not refueling yourself, nor are you protecting yourself. It's almost like a, I feel like it's almost like an energetic field of it protection is. as well. So the fact that he has brought that to your attention of building your own chi before giving it out and working on others, that's really, really interesting because I, I see this in a lot of the patient interviews. Everyone says, oh yeah, Dr. Wu makes me do the Qigong. <laughs> Not make me, but like he emphasizes that a lot. Oh yeah. And <laughs> now I understand why, because it makes sense. It's like, if you don't have that energy level or that field and you're constantly giving, you're depleting yourself constantly, but it's also, he teaches a lot about the lifestyle. And I love that, you know, can you talk a bit, more about the lifestyle of being in TCM and also as a practitioner? Yes. So there's so much there. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's so much. Uh, so diet, eating is medicine. Food is medicine. Right. So food, 
I, I knew food wasn't for pleasure, but I don't think I really knew that it was medicine. So by growing your own food, which I don't, I try to grow, I'm not successful yet. So I go to the farm stands and I buy the grown food. He grows his own chickens, he says, to have, <laughs> I love it, the, uh, to have the eggs yeah, and probably so the meat later. Yes. So, you know, there's no antibiotics in them. There is no hormones in those chickens. I told them I eat chicken. I pay $16 for four legs. Yeah. It's organic. Yeah. It's very good. He said, how big are those chickens? I, said, I don't know. He said, uh, 10 pound, maybe probably. He said, that is not good. He said, chicken cannot walk at 10 pounds. Chickens, his chickens are one to three pounds. They're small, a lot of chi in the meat, but it it's not, it doesn't have the antibiotics. Right. And so I packed the nutrients too. Yeah. Yes. That's what he said. So the getting your food is very important to get clean, healthy food. He likes the rice and I hear rice isn't good, but I, I like rice. My body likes rice. So I might lessen the rice, Yeah, but rice is good. And the spices, the, uh, I can't, Shishan pepper. I got, uh, I went to, uh, he has a, uh, retreat in Vermont and we, he cooked and he put the shishan, the little balls. And he said, five balls a day heals cold stomach. All Americans should be doing that. So that tastes good. And that's in my food. So all this is medicine as I'm doing this, I believe it's medicine. The tea we drink that I get from him, I'll be selling it too. It's so good. Uh, I drink the tea. There's many i don't remember the amount of the number but the vitamins in there christine so you were talking more about food as medicine and dr wu saying that if it's more than 10 pounds it's probably embedded with hormones and other things so can you talk more about eating organically and eating fresh foods and making sure it's um basically clean yes so the clean, we want to be clean in what we want to be mindful in how we do that. And all the other, it's basic things like drinking clean water. Right. Try and, I go to a brook and I get my water from there. That's amazing. In, yeah. In Palmer, there's fluoride and chlorine. Mm -hmm. And if I can't get it to the brook for some reason, then I'll go to my girlfriend in Munson and I have jugs and I'll get her water where there's only a little bit of chlorine. So I try to be mindful, you know, the plastic isn't good. The plastic bottles aren't really good. Maybe a little Fuji here and there. Yeah. I have to get a Kagan water machine. They're about $4,000 though. So yes. someday. <laughs> yes. I know about those. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I know. Do you have Kagan. one? Kagan. I don't, I've got a couple of friends that actually sell it. Nice. Nice. Yeah. We should be drinking their water with the oxygen in it. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, we have Carlsbad alkaline water here and something called living water here. So the alkalinity is about nine, pl nine plus, I believe. Ooh. Yeah. Good. So, um, good. You, you, you are a practitioner of Twina today. Yes. And you have a practice as well for Twina. Mm -hmm. Can you share your your practice, your experience, and what your patients are like, and the results of your practice as a Tweena practitioner? Yes. So um, I was doing pretty good with the massage, very busy working for someone else. And then I learned how I could do it on my own. Ming was teaching me a lot about business. So I started on my own. And the first thing I did was uh, get a, um, you have to pick a business name, which I had. And then to go on Google, then you would make an account with your business, whether you have a, 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 a place where you work or not. Right. And then the, the one of the big ways to, to get business is to get reviews. So if you have somebody with Intuina is amazing, no matter who you touch, when you have somebody very happy or they come back and say that they're very happy and the headache's gone, the back pain's gone, I don't have to have surgery, whatever you say, could you help me? Uh, in my business, could you write me a review, go to healing body solutions and just put a couple sentences of what you said. Right. And now I have 65 of those or so. Oh, wow. That's incredible. It's so, it's so nice. And it's all from their heart. And mm -hmm. so if somebody punches it in massage 
or Twina or Qigong or many different words, I'll be top of the list because I have the reviews. That's like the key is to get the reviews. Right. So that's been really good. And also to um, grow a, a good business of Twina is to to have a skill. So you have to take the class, which I took from Ming a long time ago. And now I assist him in teaching the class. I don't teach my own classes yet, but with him, I, so I've become a teacher. And because I still learn when I am teaching, yeah. if I don't know something, I can say, hey, what is this? Or so I learned something, how to crack the foot correctly. Last time it was pretty <laughs> exciting. Uh-huh. And um, so you got to have the skill. And so you have to practice. And then, so there's a practitioner class he has for people that are interested on Wednesdays, we talk. So we will say what we've done good and any questions we have. So I have it a success here and I don't, this isn't working, any suggestions. And then all of us put our heads together and say, this worked, this didn't work. So to stay in it. And I think you have to love it to do it. I love it. So I do good. If you don't love it, find what you love and do that. Because that's important. If life is short, we yeah. might as well do something we love. Totally. And do you, so you don't get tired at all performing tween on on all these people? I still get a little tired. We're working on that. Okay. But I, Ming does not get tired. I was going <laughs> to, I was going to ask you that question. I, you know, Dr. Wu seems pretty lively all the time. He's like a big kid. I call him like the big kid. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you know she's always jovial um why is that he doesn't get tired as much he's just he's been in this practice for so long he's mastered it well he lives the life I live the life but he lives the life better so his wife cooks amazing so she'll cook on the walk these wonderful vegetables that they grow oh, so he wow. eats very good he eats very little meat he said too much meat will make you tired so he has a system and I'm still trying to perfect that system. I still am following and learning as a student. I'm also a teacher, but I still have not, I've got my chi is so much better. When I used to get around him, I think my sugar was dropping. And another person in the class <laughs> in, acup in acupuncture has said, you're not used to this chi. The chi is so high when you eat his food and you're doing qigong or tai chi or twina with him your chi so high so i don't get that way anymore now i can handle the chi so it's uh, i it's like a ladder i'm trying to get and he his father was a doctor and right. he wakes up he does this he goes to sleep he does this i'll i went on vacation i had some fudge i you know i'm not perfect no i would like to be more perfect but i try to live the lifestyle and i feel wonderful but he's on and he has, he says, I have good gen. So when he laughs, that laugh, you don't even know what he's laughing. You hear him across the room and you're laughing on the inside. It's that good energy, that good gen. Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah. It's yeah. amazing. He really lives his practice. You know, yes. he, he's, he's true to what he speaks. He's true in his actions. He's true in his words and he's living what he's preaching. I mean, that's, that's the best example right there. Yes. You know, that's, that's the ideal model because some doctors, they say all this, they prescribe all this, but they're not doing any of it, you know? Yes, that's correct. You're right there, Judy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, I, I personally would like to learn from Dr. Wu and I have a personal interest in Twina as well. So um, when people are receiving this treatment of Twina, what is there to be expected from from the result of it? Does it work right away? <clears throat> like if you worked on someone's meridian lines, let's say in the back or specific injuries for athletes, I guess my question is how soon does that person see the result of the tween us session that you did for like an hour? Is it is it like a couple days? Is it going to be a regular therapy where this person should come like X amount of time or is it different for everybody? It's, it's different for everyone, but on the mainstream, I would have to say it happens on the table. They feel better. So Twina, there's nine lines that you work on acupressure points, mostly near the spine, but it's all, all the body. 
And when you press the spots, it wakes up a blockage and it might hurt, but in minutes. So I'll go down the body, ouch, yeah, ouch, yeah. ouch. I go back down the body. Oh, not so bad, not so bad. Third bad, third time down, it's all gone. It's all gone. You yeah. feel better. All kinds of injuries. Some, and I tell people, I can't tell what will feel better. So they'll come in with 10 problems, but something, because I'm not allowed to say I can heal you, but I can say, let me try. And I can say something is going to feel better. And they're 99% lightheaded or relaxed, euphoric, I guess would be a better word. They feel like even I saw him Sunday and I go in, I have pain. I don't even know I have. And then when I leave, it's gone. It just takes so much out of you. There's, I don't think there's words to describe. Have you received a uh, Twina? I, have. I, I was just going to share that um, really quickly. Is I received about 10 sessions of Twina. And I kid you not, the last set that I did, you know, he's he's here in Carlsbad. And he worked on my Twina on the line that's on the back. I, for, I forget what line number that is. The one right next to the spine. It's like the restorative. He worked on me. I kid you not. I came home and I cleansed for like 20 minutes, like releasing things. Nice. I'm not kidding you. And I'm like, this is amazing. So that's why I was curious to know, you know, it's probably like what you're saying. Everybody's different, has different chemistry in the body and mine. I was so receptive. I immediately felt the, the cleanse of it all. And um, I thought I lost like eight pounds the next day. <laughs> amazing. I love it. Great. I know it works for me. It works for sure. You know, so I know everyone has different experiences and then I did, I just felt like, you know, after releasing the toxins, almost like purging, you're purging. It's, you just feel so much lighter the next day. I had much more energy. I mean, I definitely felt like the circulation, in my body and the chi was happening, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I, I love Twina. Um, I'm curious to know from your experience with Dr. Wu, is there a specific knowledge or wisdom that has really stayed with you and now you're passing it on to your students or other people that you know? Yes, the whole package <laughs> to my children, oh. to my family, my friends, my clients, my students. Like the same as him, anyone that wants to listen, I live and breathe it because it's changed my life. And so anyone who would like to hear it, I would like to, to give it. So mostly the clients, cause they want, they're paying to see me. They, they, yes. they definitely want it more and they come back. They want more cause they know who I am. And my children, it's the joke is if something happens to me, if I'm gone, I want you to know what to do. So they all know Twina, Moxa, and they'll come to me. I know I'm a good teacher when one of my kids will come to me. They say, I'm a little weird. You're a little crazy. You do weird stuff, whatever. You and your TCM. But I have a headache. Could you do Twina the next? Oh, my God. How funny. <laughs> They'll yeah. criticize it. But... Yeah. <laughs> I need some Moxa. Would you wash this? I need this washer. They tell me exactly what they need before I can think about it. They know they go, they don't even know they're doing it. They're reading their body. What do I need? Oh, all the gouache. Can you wash me? So I, oh yes, I'm not going to say no. They're asking, yeah. go do it. Heals them. They all have the tools, the family stocked up. Some still think I'm crazy. Some say you're doing your voodoo. Yep. Doing my voodoo. I've heard Whatever. that too. <laughs> It's so funny that they criticize you, but then like when they're in pain, they're like, oh, do gua sha, do twina. I mean, it's like, it's like intuitively, like their soul recognizes this is real and it works because why would they make fun of it and criticize it and be like, you know, when they're in pain, they're like desperate for it now. You know, it's it really quite funny. Right. It's, so. it's, it's wonderful. Yes. Well, we're coming to a close here and, um, Christine, do you have any words for Dr. Wu or words for the audience of what you would like them to know about TCM and about Dr. Wu? Sure. I would say to try to have an open mind, have no thought, just to go in and give it a shot and see what happens. And yes. that's what I do. I experiment. I try something. I still try new things and I'll experiment. Does that work for me? Does it yeah. not work for me? Because some works and some doesn't at some times and I might change it. So to try, 
to try Twina somewhere. If you're around here to see Ming or I or any of his students, it's life changing. And there's not side effects mm -hmm. with Western medicine. Some of their things might work, but there's side effects. Mm -hmm. And there's side effects to having uh, ginger or garlic. Right. You know, it's just you feel good. And if you don't, you, then you, the most important question of the day, he always says, is who am I? So that's the root of the whole thing. So ask yourself that question. He said that to me. And I thought, that's a dumb question. I know who I am. I had no idea. None. I have boundaries now. I know who I am. I know what I want. I know what I can have. I know if I'm going to have ginger, I want to have ginger a lot. I start getting hot flashes back off. It was right. too much. Right. So to experiment with something new, to have an open mind and to enjoy life, let go and relax. And to Ming, he knows I am so grateful and I thank him every time I see him. I love him as a teacher, family, friend to, I have a good life and life is short. I've learned. So we need to enjoy it. Wonderful. Beautiful message, Christine. Thank you so much for taking this time. I really enjoy talking with you, Christine. I hope to talk with you again next time. I'd like that very much, Judy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.